Kidney stones like these cause millions of people the most intense pain imaginable. I was having a very extreme pain in my right hand side. Right. Yeah. Take a look or Urologist Dr. Matthew Sorensen knows firsthand the pain his patients suffer. I've uh, had two kidney stones. It was terrible. Uh, it was really excruciatingly painful. Kidney stones are increasing in prevalence. They are found in about 10% of the population currently. And kidney stones are, are basically very small crystals that aggregate or, or clump together to form a hard stone. A University of Washington Applied Physics Laboratory team is working on a way to move small kidney stones inside the kidneys to reduce pain, expense, and treatment times. The moving force is ultrasound. This demonstration shows the, the basic concept of uh, how we would image a kidney stone, target it using diagnostic ultrasound, and then quickly send this targeted focused pulse on the stone. And in this case, you would see the stone elevate away from the transducer. The ultrasound is completely non-invasive, so you never have to open the person up to do this treatment. This is completely novel technology. There's, there's nothing like it out there. Dr. Harper is running a 15-patient human trial of ultrasound kidney treatment at the University of Washington. It's a feasibility study to show whether we can move stones uh, in humans. Can we move stones? Can we do it while they're awake so there's, there's no pain, so this could be an office procedure? Um, and can we help small stones pass? And really the goal is to try to relocate small stones to facilitate their passage. These first ever human trials come after four years of testing the focused ultrasound system. I use the diagnostic imaging capability to focus on the stone, I find it, and then I target and refocus the energy to push the stone. So you can see when it's pushed, it moves away from the ultrasound probe, the probe is here, and the stone moves in the direction of force, away from the transducer. A one in 11 Americans have had kidney stones. We think we could try to treat most of these people. They come in with small stones, we help them pass before they need surgery. If they're too large, they need surgery, or they're too large, they're blocking the kidney. We push it back in the kidney, take them out of pain, and avoid emergency surgery. Flying high over Peru, Mike Hopkins wielding uh, the pump module. Eager to find a way to treat kidney stone emergencies during long duration missions in space, NASA is supporting the APLUW ultrasound project through the National Space Biomedical Research Institute. We hope to eventually commercialize this. The next step now is to try to license it out of the university. The university still owns the technology to either a startup company or feed it into an existing ultrasound machine so there's a button to now diagnose and move stones. We think we have a year of approval from the FDA, more trials, and we'll continue to refine exactly which patients are best benefited by this. Uh, and that's the, that's the main challenge. I hope that we're within two years of seeing this in doctor's offices being used. Science at work for you. This is APL, the Applied Physics Laboratory at the University of Washington in Seattle.